For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and it's time for your daily dose of the doctor. Let's take a look at Grubhub. This is from the trading plan for Friday, and I want to go through how we did the order entry on this one since a lot of people have questions about this. We just wrapped up a boot camp in Chicago. This ought to be fresh in your mind if you attended that boot camp. But if not, let's have a look at a couple of alternate ways to place these orders. So first off, we were talking about trading 500 shares to start, maybe 100 shares to start. But in this case, I loaded it up with 500. And what we see is that we have got all the levels from the trading plan transferred over to the Realtek screen. So we have a 3538 entry, a 3560 stop loss. 3507 is 50% of the distance to the target. That's where we're going to move our stop to break even. 34.86 is 10 cents to the target. At that point, we are going to move the stop from 35.38 down to 35.07. And once we hit the target, of course, we've got the trade set up to take us out of the position. Now, this morning, I didn't have a bunch of time, so I did not set this one up as a bracket order. On Realtek, if you push F7, you can have this order entry screen appear at the bottom of your chart. So here what we did was loaded it up with 500 shares put our 3538 stop price in and said the worst slip we're willing to take is one penny to 3537. Let's take a look at how these executed. If you right click on your chart in Realtek, it is going to bring up this window here. Go to display attributes, executions, show executions. This is going to show you exactly what happened. These square boxes represent the time that you place the order. So when I saw price moving lower, I jumped on it, I put the order in here. We see that we have an order that says to sell 35.38. It shows that we had a fill at $35.37. That fill happened right here at this round marker. Then once we were in the position, I went to my market maker montage and put in the rest of the order as an OCO. So in that case, all you had to do was go to your market maker screen, click on system order forms, bring up OCO, and this lets you put in the second leg of the order, transfer the values for your stop loss and your profit target directly from the trading plan. And of course, on 500 shares, we see that the net result was an exit right at the profit target for $305. The exact target was $34.76, and that is exactly where your Realtek software got you out. Once again, you can evaluate your executions by looking at these execution bubbles. These square boxes represent when you place the order. These round bubbles represent when you got filled. And that's really all you need to know in order to make an intelligent observation about your order routing and whether or not you took an excessive slip on any of these positions. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. I hope you're having a great trading day today and an even better one on deck for Monday. The best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com.